The first step performed by both professional penetration testers and hackers alike is information gathering. They want to learn as much about their target as possible to make their task easier. So, let's begin this journey by looking at information gathering tools. There are several tools in Kali Linux to aid in information gathering and reconnaissance. I figured we would look at some of the tools included in Kali. Hey guys, it's John here from Hacker Joe channel. Welcome to Hacker Joe channel. We show you technology like hacking skill, how to hack, how to be hacker, programming language, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure subscribe the channel and don't forget to click notification bell. Now let's look. What are the objectives of information gathering in cybersecurity? Any basic cybersecurity information gathering process often includes these two types of data collection goals. The first is collecting network data, such as public, private and associated domain names, network hosts, public and private IP blocks, routing tables, TCP and UDP running services, SSL certificates, open ports and more. The second is collecting system-related information. This includes user enumeration, system groups, OS host names, OS system type, system banners, etc. But there's a lot more involved. Let's learn about it by exploring the most popular techniques used during this phase. Now let's start our main topic, information gathering tools. Gathering information is an art that every pen tester and hacker should master for a better penetration testing experience. It is a method used by analysts to determine customer and user needs. Technology that provides employees with safety, usability, ease of use, learnability, etc. leads to their collaboration, engagement, and honesty. Various tools and techniques are available including public sources such as Whois, NS Lookup, etc., which can help hackers collect user information. This step is very important because when attacking any target information such as his pet's name, best friend's name, age, or phone number, a password guessing attack or brute force or other type of attack needs to be performed. Here are five tools to gather information. The first tool is Nmap and Zenmap. Nmap and Zenmap are useful tools for the scanning phase of ethical hacking in Kali Linux. Nmap and Zenmap are practically the same tool. However, Nmap uses command line while Zenmap has a GUI. Nmap is a free utility tool for network discovery and security auditing. Many systems and network administrators also find it useful for tasks such as network inventory, managing service upgrade schedules, and monitoring host or service uptime. Nmap uses raw IP packets in novel ways to determine which hosts are available on the network, what services application name and version those hosts are offering, which operating systems they are running, what type of packet filters or firewalls are in use, etc. The second tool is Who is Lookup. Who is is a database record of all the registered domains over the internet. It is used for many purposes. A few of them are listed below. It is used by network administrators in order to identify and fix DNS or domain-related issues. It is used to check the availability of domain names. It could even be used to track down the registrants of the fraud domain. It is used to identify trademark infringement. The third tool is ReconNG. The ReconNG framework is a powerful tool that allows you to perform automated information gathering and network reconnaissance. ReconNG automates a lot of the steps that are taken in the initial process of a penetration test. You can automatically hit numerous websites to gather passive information on your target, and even actively probe the target itself for data. It has numerous features that allow you to collect user information for social engineering attacks and network modules for network mapping and much more. Think of ReconNG as Metasploit for information collection. Basically, you can use ReconNG to gather info on your target and then commence your attack. Anyone who is familiar with Metasploit will feel right at home, as the interface was made to have a comparable look and feel. The command usage and process flow are also very similar. You can start ReconNG by open terminal in Kali then type this. ReconNG. Type help to bring up a list of commands. 
The fourth tool for gathering information is NSLOOKUP. NSLOOKUP stands for Name Server Lookup, which is a command used to get the information from the DNS server. It queries DNS to obtain a domain name, IP address mapping, or any other DNS record. It even helps in troubleshooting DNS-related problems. It is used for many purposes. A few of them are listed below. Lookup for a TXT record. For reverse DNS lookup. For lookup for any record. Lookup for an SOA record. To get the IP address of a domain. Lookup for an NS record. Lookup for an MX record. To start NS lookup, just type. NS lookup then your domain. The fifth or last tool is Sparta. Sparta is a Python-based GUI tool for the scanning and enumeration phases of information retrieval. It is a toolkit that contains some useful information gathering tools. It has a variety of uses, some of which are listed below. It is used to automate the process of Nikto tool to every HTTP service or any other service. It is used to reuse the password which is already found and is not present in the word list. It is used to save the scan of the hosts you have scanned earlier in order to save time. It is used to export nmap output to an XML file. Information gathering is just one of the initial steps taken during most InfoSec investigations. And there are many ways to do it, with different techniques and tools. While conducting research on any target, you'll be surprised at how much data you get about the host or domain name you are investigating. Sometimes you'll find a lot of relevant information. On other occasions you'll come up with useless data, and, still, in other scenarios there will be a mix, good data and mere noise combined. Collecting all this data takes time, and piecing together the different pieces of cybersecurity trail you get. Cleaning all the garbage, and getting only the useful and critical parts can be even harder but don't worry all of those five tools will help you to easy your work. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions let me know by the comments section. I will happy to reply to you. And don't forget to subscribe and in case you are first time here check some other videos. Thank you all of you, love you.